Hello everyone and welcome to this video. In this video, let us understand how do we forecast depreciation of the company. So before we forecast the depreciation of the company and talk about multiple methods of calculating and forecasting depreciation, let us first prepare the layout of the depreciation schedule. So on your screen you can see we have the beginning net property plant and equipment. We have total capital expenditure of the company incurred in the last three years, gross property plant and equipment, accumulated depreciations and property plant and equipment net. So we need opening gross property plant and equipment that will be the closing of the previous year. Closing gross property plant and closing gross property plant and equipment of the previous year will be the opening of this year. So I need to forecast my capital expenditure. So let me keep it zero for now. Then we will be able to calculate total gross property plant and equipment. So opening PPE plus capital expenditure of the year. Now simply select this and press control R. We need to forecast capital expenditure so that we will have actual closing gross property plant and equipment. So this is my opening. This will be the capital expenditure and this will be total and this process will continue forward. To forecast capital expenditure, we can forecast capital expenditure as a percentage of sales. So first what we need, we need to bring our net sales into the sheet. So equal to income statement, this is the net sales, enter, select this and press control R. Now we have our capital expenditure, we can bring this capital expenditure from the cash flow statement of the company under investing activities. Okay, so for this case study you already have the capital expenditure and if you want to see where is the capital expenditure given in the uh, financial statement, so let me just show you. So this is your cash flow statement and under investing activities, here is your capital expenditure. So 335, 436 and 553. Just to show you live, just to give you an example, where do you find capital expenditure? I am showing you the cash flow statement of the company. Now let me show you the cash flow statement of the company Apache Corporation. This was the cash flow statement of Colgate Palmolive. And let's see the cash flow statement of Apache Corporation from the oil and gas industry. Yes, this is your cash flow statement. Under investing activity, you have to find capital expenditure. So this is your investing activity. And if you see these three items are related to capital expenditure of the company addition to oil property, addition to gas gathering facilities, leasehold property acquisition. So all these three items are your capital expenditure. You have to add them and put them into Excel. Okay. So now in our case study, we already have the capital expenditure of the last three years. What we have to do? We have to forecast capital expenditure as a percentage of sales. So first we have to calculate capex as a percentage of sales in history. So capex as a percentage of sales so equal to capital expenditure of the year divided by sales. Control R convert this value to percentage by the shortcut control shift percentage. Now if you look at the historic average of last two years is 8%. So what we will do, we will assume that capital expenditure will be 8% of net sales. So let me type 8% here and carry forward. So color it light like this. Now equal to sales of the company multiply by this capital expenditure. Okay. Reduce the decimals. Select this, press control R. This is your opening gross PPND. This is your capital expenditure of the year. 
so if you add these two you will have the closing gross property plant and equipment okay now we have to forecast depreciation of the company if we have the depreciation of the year we will be able to calculate accumulated depreciation okay now let us look at these three methods which i have already listed on your screen so there are three methods that i have given you if you want to prepare basic depreciation schedule then you can use either of these three methods there is a dynamic way of preparing the depreciation schedule that is waterfall schedule i'll show you how to create that also in another video so all these three methods are having their own shortcomings so depreciation as a percentage of sales is also forecasted i have seen various models numerous models where you forecast depreciation as a percentage of sales depreciation actually has nothing to do with sales depreciation should technically be forecasted as a percentage of fixed assets fixed assets like building machines furniture fixtures equipment and so forth but if you want to forecast depreciation as a percentage of fixed assets based on the category of the assets you need details and that much detail will not be provided to you by the company in its annual report what do you need you need how much building is there what is the amount of building because you have to calculate depreciation based on building and you also need the life of the building you also need this scrap value you also need the method and rate everything you need to calculate depreciation based on the category of the assets so you need too much detail like each category of assets what is the amount of each category you also need the rate applied on each category of the fixed assets you need to know the life of each category of assets and that much information is not provided so you have the alternative method that is to calculate depreciation as a percentage of fixed assets or to grow depreciation based on growth rate so let me now show you how you can apply these methods to forecast your depreciation so the first method is to forecast depreciation based on sales so first what we will do we will bring depreciation onto the sheet historical depreciation so let me bring my depreciation of the year here equal to income statement this is my depreciation enter control r now depreciation as a percentage of sales so equal to depreciation divided by sales of the company you are getting your values in number format sometimes you will see the output is coming zero why it is coming zero because you are not showing your decimal values so if you increase the decimal values you will see the values now it is better to convert this value to percentage format so shortcut is control shift percentage or you can go to the home tab and click on this percentage percentage format okay now you see that depreciation was 3% only in last 3 years of sales depreciation was only 3% of sales in the last 3 years so even if you calculate depreciation based on each category of the fixed assets and you will get the depreciation somewhere around 3% only so in financial modeling it is recommended that instead of spending too much time and effort to calculate a particular schedule to prepare a particular schedule and getting some similar value only so try to use the easy method so there are two methods an easy method and a very complicated method when the values will be very nearer with both the methods it is recommended that you use the easy method only now depreciation is 3% so what we can do we can assume that it will be 3% only in future also so equal to sales of the company multiply by this 3% select this press control r 
control shift 1 to reduce the decimals to only two decimals when there are so many decimals then you can press control shift 1 only two decimals will be left okay and you can reduce the decimal to zero decimals also if you want now that was one way of calculating the depreciation the second way depreciation as a percentage of fixed assets so here what you will do you will take depreciation divide by average fixed assets okay and it will be better that first you remove the non depreciable amount from your gross property plant and equipment let me show you how you can do that so here you will get calculate gross gross depreciable ppnd what is that gross depreciable gross property plant and equipment minus the value of land which is included within this value so i am just typing a random value here that is 71 in next year how much it is let's suppose 42 then in the third year let's suppose how much it is or 242 for an example now these are the depreciable values no because land value is not included into it so what we can do now we can take depreciation divided by average gross depreciable property plant and equipment enter control r now you see the values it is somewhere around 6 percent depreciation as a percentage of fixed asset is 6 percent now what is the problem with this method we have taken total depreciation as a percentage of total assets that means you will actually be depreciating building with 6% machines with 6% furniture 6% fixture 6% equipment 6% so every item you are going to depreciate at 6% only but actually every category of fixed asset is depreciated with a different depreciation rate because all of them have different useful life so every method which we are talking about has their own problems so what we can do if you want you can keep depreciation as six percent for future if this method is acceptable to you you can use that and you can forecast your fixed asset like this you can forecast your depreciation based on this method now what is the third method third method was to grow your depreciation based on a growth rate so you have to first calculate growth rate of depreciation in history so how do we do that let me show you equal to depreciation of the year divided by depreciation of previous year minus one control r convert this to percentage so average growth rate was seven percent you can keep seven percent growth rate for future also okay now you can grow your depreciation based on seven percent so whatever depreciation you will receive so here in this case we have forecasted depreciation based on percentage of sales you can forecast depreciation as a percentage of fixed asset or based on growth rate so here is my depreciation if you want to forecast your depreciation based on this six percent of method what you have to do just to show you what you will do equal to average of gross fixed asset multiply by this six percent right and this will be your value press ctrl r right you will have this values if you use the growth rate method what will you do equal to depreciation of previous year multiply by bracket start one plus this growth rate bracket close enter now select this press control r you can do that way also we are working on 
the first method which is depreciation as a percentage of sales so what will you do equal to sales of the year multiply by this percentage control r if you use either of these three methods you will find that values which you are getting of depreciation the values are closer to each other they are not very far away terms and condition applied the assumption are not too much different from history right only in that case the values will be approximately same now equal to accumulated depreciation of previous year plus the depreciation of this year enter control r now to calculate property plant and equipment net you can take the formula from previous year like this or you can put the formula again like gross property plant and equipment minus accumulated depreciation enter control r so in this video we have understood multiple ways of calculating depreciation we will continue our discussion on depreciation in the next video also so see you in the next video thanks for watching